So as far as sharpening a blade goes, um, one of the things you want to have is a sharpening stone. Um, or what is known as a grinding stone. This is something that you want to make sure it's light and can carry. You don't want anything that's mechanical. Uh, a simple tool like this, it's actually two-sided. Um, a rough part, which is this gray part, and one to actually help smooth it out, which is also very good to have. Um, I will actually demonstrate, I'll actually show you guys how to sharpen the hatchet. So, as you can see, I got my stone, got my hatchet. It's, you actually want to have it on something, but make sure you have a good grip. And what you want to do is something like that. I'll actually demonstrate a couple of different ways. Um, one way is doing this, sliding it across the stone. You actually want to have a, a, a good angle. You don't want to go too high because you'll dull it. You don't want to go too low because you'll actually get your fingers. You actually want to have a decent angle on it. And that is actually how you sharpen a hatchet. Sometimes it's actually good to have it like this. So that way you can actually see how well you're doing. And having something like this is nice. It does go actually rather quick. And, you know, it doesn't really take long. Depending on how coarse or fine that the stone is and how damaged your blade is. Determines on how long you want to sit there and sharpen your tools for. And right there... I just sharpened my blade so something like that very good tools to have um, so something like that you want to make sure you have a sharpening stone just in case you run into hardwood or you hit something hard you can dull your blade um, chip it round it anything like that so you want to make sure you have the right tools to be able to keep going and doing what you want to do just so that way, cutting down trees or cutting some sort of wood, um, you'll do it a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently. That way you can actually get wood for different things, heating, building, stuff like that. Um, wood like that. Of course, with that, I did use something a little different. I used a saw, a chainsaw actually, but... Um, a handsaw will actually help do the trick as long as it's well within parameters of what you're using it for. Like this small branch. I would actually use a handsaw on it. Because um, that will actually help go fairly quickly. Um, like right in here. Small branches. Little saw. Goes quick. Um, something like this. This is actually what I do use. As you can see, some of the uh, lettering on it is a little worn out because I, I do like using this. It does lock. Um, something like that, very handy to have, especially if you're doing small branches or small trees. Um, trees like, you know, something like that. Anything bigger, you want to use an ax or, you know, a hatchet like that. So, something like that, these are a couple of good tools to have. So, hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned.